Hi folks, it's a career review of The Virtuoso by Baratza. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and I just wanted to go over the features once again of this machine. I know we've done it probably a couple of times, but it can't hurt to bring it to the forefront once again and show you what it's all about. So this machine is a burr grinder, and I will show you right up here. This is a conical steel burrs. Here's your top burr. There's your lower burr. And you can see the teeth are fairly close together. Don't forget when you're putting this back together, this orange goes at about number four. And you'll feel these little tabs will go down into a slot. So make sure you have that and make sure you put the rubber Uh, device back on and this lines up and boom there we go there's a pointer on the plastic hopper and the hopper holds eight ounces of beans by the way whole beans right there and you can have uh, you will have 40 settings here everything from one at the finest up to 40 at the coarsest and everything in between and I'm going to show you the uh, consistency of the grind later a little bit of metal on the casing right here and here gives a little heft makes it kind of nice also has a Button on the front here, if you have a portafilter, put it under there, push the button, grind right down into your portafilter, and when you get what you want, stop. Collection bin that goes in here. Bear in mind, this machine, the Virtuoso, does not come with the porta holder. The Preciso does, so just so you know. Timer switch on the side, and you can see that going backwards. And these marks, they don't really equate to anything as far as um, cups, minutes, anything like that. So so that's, uh, that's the Virtuoso. It's been around for a while. It is good for, I would say, everything from drip, pour over, French press, or in an espresso. If you happen to have a, non, a pressurized portafilter, you can use it. If you ever think you're going to step up to a non-pressurized, go up to the Preciso. It goes finer. And we did do a comparison of the uh, Barazza grinders, and we showed, um, you know, the two grinders, the Virtuoso and the Preciso, what makes them different from each other. And it's the Preciso has the macro, which allows it to go finer than the Virtuoso. So that's what it's all about. Let me show you the consistency of the grind. This is at the coarsest, and as you can see, it's not very consistent. But you could take that down a notch. That was at 40. You could probably go down to 35, then make a nice French press. This is the middle of the road where you're getting it into your drip or your pour over Chemex. And then the finest down here definitely has a little bit of uh, granules to it, some fineness to it, but enough granules that non pressurized, not going to get a good shot. But yeah, I'm oh, sure you guys all mixed together. Go ahead. So I wanted to just put some beans in here, too, and let you hear what it sounds like. Sometimes people like to know, well, how loud is it really? Well, it's a grinder. It's going to be loud. Some are louder than others. Sometimes the tone is a little different. So when you lift the lid, it's going to be, you know, that cuts back on some of the noise, contains it. So that's the Virtuoso from Barazza. Check it out on our webpage. All the other stats that you might be interested in will be listed under additional information on the description page. Um, what else do we need to tell you about it? It's just a good all-around grinder, I would say, except for espresso. It's affordable, compact, just a nice grinder. Check it out on our webpage. Leave a comment down below if you haven't. Tell us your experience with it.